point, I'm pretty sure everyone thinks all I do is drink coffee and eat pastries. <sighs> They're not wrong. <laughs> I feel like I'm all over the place. Maybe it's because I just had another cup of coffee. Um, <clears throat> but, <sighs> Kay, so yeah, this morning has just been a little weird because Kay had a job interview, which please keep your fingers crossed for them. It's a job that they really want. Um, so they are actually out nannying right now. So they've been um, helping a friend of a friend. Um, with some childcare, which has been really awesome. Um, so that's where they are right now. So this morning, because, you know, everything is from home, I kind of um, just kept the animals in the room um, so that they wouldn't be distracting or annoying while Kay was like getting ready and doing the interview, which seems to have gone really well. So again, yeah, please, any good wishes, their way that you want to send are so appreciated so yeah that's super exciting um and while they were doing that i was um finalizing which machine i wanted to get so that i could pick it up um today so i ended up going with this janome that i'm pretty i think is like a really good option for me it's not quite like the beginner beginner sewing machine but it's also not like super fancy I really want it for some personal garment sewing. Oops, sorry, I think I'm covering the mic. Um, I want it for some personal garment sewing as well as creating some like prototypes of new bags. Um, and you know, I also do like to quilt, so m probably not doing the actual quilting, but for like piecing quilt tops together. So I'm really happy that I have something that's new because all of my machines have been, you know, old machines that I ha have been hand-me-downs. Um, <clears throat> and like one of them is, I have two of them here. So this is kind of crazy, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> um, but both my mom and my grandma were sewers for their jobs. Um, so we just, our family just has a lot of machines. Like, <sighs> anyway, um, so, I've been super grateful to get those machines. One of them does straight stitch exceptionally well. Um, it's like a hunker and it's like not a name brand. It's, you know, they're all old machines. And then most recently I was given this beautiful like black machine. Um, and while I was sewing project bags like a few shop updates ago, it, um, I could, I just couldn't get the thread tension right. And I tried to, I cleaned the whole thing. I oiled the whole thing. Um, and I just like, it was still not working. So, um, you know, I, I sort of like haven't dealt with it because we were moving and X, Y, and Z. So I took it out last week and, or like before Vlogmas a couple weeks ago. And I was like, let me see if I can like fix that Ted, <laughs> Ted issue thread tension issue and I pulled it out and I set it up and like you know kind of did the same things that I did last time like cleaning it oiling it and blah 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 and I was changing the like which stitch like you know just between the different stitch types and the like plastic thing in the machine that like allows you to flip it and it to like click into place like broke <laughs> and there wasn't really any there was like a little bit of resistance but I it wasn't like a cons I don't know it just like I didn't feel like I was like forcing it to do something it didn't want to do but I just like heard it snap and like fall into the like belly of the beast and um so now you can't like switch between different stitches in addition to the tension issue. So I was super bummed about it. Um, I dug the piece out and I was just like, I 
don't know what to do. And again, it's not like a name brand machine um, because it's just sort of like from wherever. So I was like so demoralized, um, but I was like, you know what? I, I want a machine that, you know, will last me, you know, a few years until I'm ready to maybe upgrade because there are things that I want to do that I haven't been able to do. And um, I found this really great Janome. It's like a newer model that was on sale at Joann's and that's what I decided to do. And um, yeah, I'm very excited to be able to sew because I have so much fabric down there that I have been wanting to make a dent in and I just like haven't been able to. And there's like some modifications I want to make and et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah. So yeah, my plan today was to wash out the skeins that I mordanted yesterday. This seems to always happen. I just need to go with the flow. Um, I mean, I feel like I'm going with the flow. I just think that because I have an audience, I feel like more obligation to follow through with what I'm saying I'm doing, I guess. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I was, my plan waking up this morning was to go rinse all of those skeins, but I really wanted to make sure that the animals weren't bugging Kay. And sometimes when Maple can hear me in the basement, she barks because she's like, what are you doing down there? Um, so uh, I just kind of hunkered down and did my thing. And it was kind of nice to go a little slow because I was feeling tired yesterday. So yeah, I'm just gonna hang out, play with my new toy, see what fabric I have and what patterns I have because I know I have like a roll that I had printed that I never got to. So yeah, that's what's happening this evening. Probably gonna make chicken noodle soup, like I said, like four days ago <laughs> for dinner tonight, but we'll see. All right, talk to you soon. So played with my sewing machine and just thought about sewing and it just felt nice to do. So um, I ordered, I decided instead of cooking dinner to order some Indian food. I still haven't found an Indian food place here that I love. Um, so I'm trying a new one. We'll see how it goes. It looked good, but yeah, I don't know. Um, so I did that and then I, this look how small this is um this is the beginning of that ripple crop but like it's way too small so i mean the pattern is says worsted or dk and um this is a dk weight and it's just it would be like way too small so i am going up a needle size and also going up a size and I do know that it's like you know squished up because I just knit one for myself in fingering weight but this seems like very small um so yeah I'm gonna do that so I'm gonna I'm unwinding it 
Um, I've been slowly watching the Wheel of Time series on Prime, so I'm watching that um, because Kay has like no interest. So since they're still gone, I that's what I'm doing. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to eat Indian food and just be cozy tonight. So Maple's cuddled up with me under this blanket. She is such a cuddle, cuddle pup. Maple. Maple. No, she's like out. So yeah, that's what's going on.